Yeah, are you still filming, aren't you? I am, but still we're going. So make the, make this moment count. Mm -hmm. Emily, calm down. Calm down. It's just teeth. This is crooked. Like, girl, hold up. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you all my August favorites. This is exciting. We are moving up in life. We are that much closer to Christmas. Priorities. These are things that are important. So first thing first that I need to talk about before we go even further in this video is the fact that I did get my wisdom teeth out and I am still recovering. Holy crap, did I not expect this to be the way it is. It's a lot more painful than I thought it would be. It's also a lot more like debilitating than I thought it would be. Like I literally can't make some facial expressions and until yesterday I couldn't smile. I still feel numb and I still feel like, I feel like there's like nerves in my mouth that like aren't functioning yet. So if I look swollen, which I've asked several people, strangers on the street, my family, they all say I don't look swollen to them. So do I look swollen to you? Girl, I feel swollen and I feel in pain. I'm gonna do an experience video about my wisdom teeth in the next week or so, but I haven't really like finished the experience yet. Yeah, but that will be happening in the future if you're interested. And so I'm going to be now talking about my August favorites. This is like, I can't, I feel like I can't smile properly. Also, another thing that I should tell you is that we are experiencing this huge storm where I live and I was planning on filming and uploading everything on Sunday, which was yesterday, but our electricity was out for 48 hours and so, which is like bizarre. You think that in this day and age you that they would have like technology to help our technology work better? I don't know, but it was so crazy and it you just realize how much you depend on power, not like to entertain yourself, but like just to function, like if you had an electric stove, you wouldn't have been able to cook anything and we didn't want to open our fridge because that would result in like losing a lot of food and because I have my wisdom teeth out and I can't eat anything, it was like, okay Emily, what are you going to eat? Basically lived off applesauce. So that's not a favorite, but I wanted to mention it in case any of you guys were curious. I'm still alive, the surgery was fine, I've been posting on Instagram and I posted on Twitter a little bit. I never check my Twitter because I feel like no one does anything on Twitter, but I think Twitter is cool. People, people, you know, they like Twitter. I don't really get it. Should I move on? Do I look swollen when I do that face? I feel like I do. I feel like I'm becoming a little crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay, best moment of August. One of the best moments. I'd be kind of sad if I said this was the best moment. Um, one of the best moments of August was when I found my favorite dry shampoo, which I've been looking for for months. Oh my god. So if you can find it, definitely buy it and um, Enjoy it, girl. Don't shower. I didn't shower for a long time. I still look cute with my small face. The next thing is something that I don't know if I've talked about before, but I wanted to mention it because I was kind of like cleaning out my drawer yesterday and I found this and I was like, did I ever mention this? Because I actually really like this product. This is by Biore and this is a self-heating one minute mask and it has natural charcoal in it. You can go to like Sephora and see like the $70 masks that have charcoal in them. Personally, you know, that's a lot of money for a student, for anyone, for anyone that's a lot of money. So I kind of refuse, unless I feel really desperate, then I'd buy it, but like, you know. Basically what you do is you snip off the top, and then I recommend kind of like mixing it in the packet before you pour it out, because if you just pour it out straight, it'll kind of just be like a liquid, and then you'll get like chunks of charcoal. I really like it, it feels really purifying, it makes my skin feel really soft. I wouldn't do this often, like, Honestly, my skin is super sensitive, so I probably only do this like twice a month, but it's really nice. Okay, next, a tea that I have to talk about. I love tea, for those of you who don't know, and because it's been so freaking hot here this whole summer, I haven't had my share of tea. So, when it started, the storm began, I was like, tea? 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 I'm going to drink so much tea. So, I got this new tea, and it is by the brand Puka, which I think I've talked about on the channel before. Basically, my other favorite tea by them is the Manuka Honey one, but I saw this one and this it has matcha in it and I really really like matcha. It has a lot of health benefits um, and overall I kind of just really like the taste of it so that's what's most important. This tea is so beautifully designed, like first of all that packaging, like mmm girl mmm. And then you know you get your little tea bags and I love this, I've already had two cups today. It's only 11 a.m. Addiction status. This is very exciting for me. I got a new pair of sneakers because I have the Nike 5.0s. I love them, they're awesome. But I started wearing them outdoors and indoors and so they kind of have like, they're kind of dirty. And also I would be at the gym and I'd be picking like little stones out of my shoes and like leaving them on the gym floor and I realized like, you know, yeah, 
Hmm. So I got a new pair of indoor sneakers. These are the most adorable sneakers in the all time. They literally have polka dotted laces. And if you know me and polka dots, like we go way back. We love each other. Polka dots and I were really tight. And these are called Nike Flex Training 5. Well, I'll link them down below because I think that might be wrong. But they're beautiful. I actually have two of them, not just the one. See, look, there's a pair. And I also did something different when I bought these as well because my dad told me that you're supposed to buy half a size up when you buy like running shoes. And I'm like, mm, no, that seems weird to me. Um, but I tried it and it actually makes sense. The only thing is I, like the first time I wore them, I totally felt like I was wearing clown shoes even though it was like half a size bigger. So I love these. These are going to be my indoor shoes and then I'll use like my Nike trainers, my other ones, um, as outdoor runners. So... You know, just keeping the world cleaner that way. Now I have two books to talk about, and as you guys know, I love reading, but I've been in this like really strange, annoying reading kind of stump ever since I finished my previous semester of university, which is should be another thing I should talk about. I finished my fifth semester of university, which is absolutely crazy. I feel like I'm moving up in life, but I also feel like I'm not quite ready. I'm like, come on, everyone, slow down. Time's going by way too freaking fast. One of the books that I've read this past month was uh, Mount Misery by Samuel Shem. This is a really interesting book. I honestly don't really, I'm, I'm not a huge fan. Like, I, I don't love this. It wouldn't be something that I'd be like, oh, everyone needs to read it, like, enjoy it. Oh, yeah, girlfriend. No, it was pretty freaking depressing, to be honest with you. Basically, everyone has depression in this book. So I read it because this is sort of a profession that I'm interested in. The man in this book, the kind of the narrator, the the protagonist is a psychiatrist who's just gone out of med school who's doing his residency at a mental hospital. It's basically about his first year working with people with mental disorders and how it affects him as well as like the different I guess methods the different doctors at that hospital use. So like some doctors are really into meds. So they prescribe everyone meds and they want everyone on meds. And another doctor was really hands-on and really wants to, you know, have like therapy sessions. It's kind of interesting because I am in psychology in university. I find it interesting, but at the same time, it sort of was extremely depressing and I just didn't really see it as being like, that enjoyable. I also didn't really like the protagonist, which I talk about all the time when I read books and I don't like the protagonist. It's really hard to like enjoy the book. It's like, I don't care if you succeed. You suck. He also cheats on his girlfriend. I don't like that. That's gross. The book I'm reading right now though that I'm actually enjoying, although it is really dark and I got it from the library, so I have to cover this. Oh, it covers the title. It looks like this. Oh, I'm my reading later on this. This is because the electricity goes out and I'm terrified of the dark. This is the book that I'm reading. It's called The Narrow Road to the Deep North by Richard Flanagan. And for some reason, my heart is telling me, or maybe it's my brain, that one of you guys recommended this book to me on Goodreads. Can I look that up? I don't know how to work anything. I feel like I'm like 100 years old. One second, I'll be right back. Okay, I just looked and I have absolutely no idea how to figure this thing out. Like, I feel like I'm 90 years old and like trying to use a computer for the first time. So I don't know if any of you guys recommended it to me, but if you did recommend this to me and I'm going crazy and I can't remember or if I'm making this up right now, tell me. I do really like it. It won the Man Booker Prize. To be honest, in the beginning, I was very confused by it and I didn't really understand what was going on because it kept jumping from different people's perspectives and I didn't really understand, like, it didn't say before... The perspective changed whose perspective it was it was just kind of like oh this person is not the same person as it was a second ago so that was kind of annoying and then i also there's like a lot of blanks that haven't been filled in and i imagine that's kind of like it they, those will be filled in the end so i'm kind of confused as, as to what's happening but if it won the man booker prize it must be pretty good or maybe they made a mistake we will keep reading and find out i will let you guys know on my goodreads and on my next favorites video which will be September. I was gonna say June. That is not right. That is this book. I'm enjoying it. It's very dark. I don't know. I feel like something's wrong with me. I can only read like happy books right now. I want a happy ending. I want people to live happily ever after. Is that so wrong? I don't think it is. This earring, which if you guys haven't seen my everyday jewelry video, I mentioned this, um, all my earrings. In particular, this earring that I just recently got. My sister's friend, Trisha, who has a 
jewelry company called Wilden and she makes everything herself. She's crazy talented. I absolutely love her. I've talked about this all in that video. I've been wearing her studs in my ears for since Christmas, since December. And so I love them. They've really held up well. I never take them out to shower. I haven't taken them out at all since Christmas. So that's kind of exciting. Um, and so when I got this one, I was really excited because this is more of like a statement and I also think it's just really cool. So I'll take it out and show you guys like up close. So that's, that's the earring right there and you just kind of like put it in your ear and it just hooks in and looks like that. I've gotten so many compliments on it. People love it. It's really unique and fun. I kind of feel like Elton John. But I absolutely love it and I, like I said, I've gotten so many compliments on her website. You can either buy it in silver or gold and you can also get it in a single, so like just one like I wear, or you can get two so you can have like a pair. But I kind of like the not symmetrical, like, ooh, what is she doing? Is that on purpose or by accident? Um, kind of look. So anyways, that is everything I have to talk about, I think, for my August favorites. Look out for more videos from me soon. I am recovering from my surgery and feeling a lot better and I am capable to sort of smile. That's a step in the right direction. So thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all very soon and I hope you're having a great day. Bye guys.